Back to the first reading we heard. In those days, God delivered all these commandments. Our God delivered to us the words, the instruction for everlasting life. Today, my effort is to keep this short and simple. You could say brief, but hopefully brilliant. See what happens. What is the image of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that comes to your mind when you think of him? So many pictures have been taken and captured over his pontificate. Many are very moving and have moved people by his witness. For me, I think one of the most striking and moving photographs, and actually it's been photographed a number of occasions or years, is during the season of Lent. When the Holy Father at St. Peter's, he uh, has a reconciliation service. Now, our Holy Father often surprises those around him. Well, one way in which he has surprised those around him, you know, and the photographers, is that before going to his confessional, a number of times, he's steered in a different direction, himself first going, kneeling down, and confessing his sins. What a powerful image and witness that is. Have our Holy Father lead by showing us that we're sinners in need of mercy. You know, this month of March, uh, our Holy Father every month has an intention that we pray for as a church. And this month of March, his intention is for the sacrament of reconciliation. And so, the whole church has been praying this month this intention. And the prayer is, let us pray that we may experience the sacrament of reconciliation with renewed depth to taste the infinite mercy of God. What a beautiful prayer. You know, and I share that intention, that prayer, that we as parish family would experience the sacrament of reconciliation with this renewed depth to taste that infinite mercy of God. I just simply share a little um, reflection from our Holy Father. He gave it one Wednesday when many pilgrims were gathered. And in my eyes, it's pretty bold. <laughs> you know, last week I had my classmate, Father Charlie Freebel. And he was telling me, yeah, I've started asking people, when's the last time you've been to confession? I was like, wow, that's bold. <laughs> and then he says, you know, he'll um, tell, you know, those maybe it's been a while or that. He said, I'll, I'll be praying for you. I was like, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. But anyways, here's the uh, reflection our Holy Father gave at a Wednesday audience. He asked, everyone say to himself, when was the last time I went to confession? Everyone think about it. Two days, two weeks, two years, 20 years, 40 years. Everyone count. Everyone say, when was the last time I went to confession? What a wonderful reflection for Lent. 
It's the season of reconciliation. And no more perfect and beautiful way to be reconciled to God than through the sacrament he provides, reconciliation. And so he, further down the line, concludes, when one is in line to go to confession, one feels all these things, even shame. But when one finishes confession, one leaves free, grand, beautiful, forgiven, candid, happy. This is the beauty of confession. If much time has passed, do not lose another day. Go, the priest will be good. Jesus is there, and he receives you with love. He concludes his final great encouragement. Be courageous and go to confession. 